If a cow's in trouble, I walk them home. And if a cow I can't walk home, by on foot, then they're no good to me. And that's how I treat my cattle. And by not using a dog, and I will not allow a stick in the yard. And when I'm handling my cattle, my yard's designed that I can draft the cattle by myself. I don't open my mouth one little bit. Sometimes I feel like it, but I don't. That's how I get my cattle stressed out. That's why they're not stressed out. Because I'm not shouting like a, like a bull. I keep my mouth shut. And uh, why, when, when you shout at cattle, that's what upsets them. I feed early, and I feed every second day without fail. And I always make sure I've got plenty of hay. I will stick to, still stick to me seven-tailed bull because I find seven-tailed bulls are good to handle and the calves have got plenty of muscles in them and, and they're ideal calves for, for, for Woolworths. One veal have made $1,780 and I think that was a state record by um, that vealer and it was only um, eight to nine months old and he weighed 520 kilos. From the data we can tell that Gerald's really doing a good job. Uh, his ossification scores, being milk fed vealers, are really quite low, but we can also tell from that that they've had a really easy, easy path to slaughter. Uh, we can also tell that uh, from the low number of dark cutters, zero percent, uh, we can tell that he's obviously handling these animals with a minimum amount of stress and that's obviously a really key part of MSA. Gerald should feel over the moon about how well he's done. The compliance rate is really top quality. Uh, his cattle, his MSA index score is, you know, top rate. He's done really, really well and I think that's something he should really be able to hang his hat on. I'll continue doing what I'm doing and I, and I hope other farmers can cheat off me because that's the only way you can learn is cheat off who's doing well. I'm do, uh, it's a, a great honour to me to have this reward. If only Dad can come back and see what I've done. He said, I knew you could do it anyway. And um, it's, a, yeah, it's a great honour. Thank you very much.